in Psalms, it says, wine will make the heart of man happy. Wine is considered a symbol of happiness in Judaism, and people drink it in happy occasions. Why do people like drinking alcohol, and what does it symbolize? And why in the Gemara it says, when wine enters, the secret comes out? Well, wine has a very high root, which is the light of Chokhmah in spirituality. That's the root of wine. And uh, there are many things in this. In short, we can put it this way. Wine means the light of Chokhmah, but the light of Chokhmah is the light of pleasure. When it enters the vessel, it has to enter a corrected vessel which works in bestowal, in complete love and connection with others. So, for instance, we have a custom where uh, we drink wine and first we, we pour a little water uh, into the cup. Why? Because it symbolizes the light of chasadim. The water? Yes. My water symbolizes chasadim. And then that light of chasadim is what allows us to later pour the light of chokhmah. That is according to the spiritual roots. Now, in the corporal world, the wine that is uh, uh, that symbolizes the light of chokhmah in the spiritual world, it has its phenomena in the corporal world. But there are many things here. There is uh, the wine that intoxicates, the wine that, wine that brings happiness, and so forth. When, when can the happiness be unlimited? Like in Purim, for instance, uh, the Jewish holiday where there is a mitzvah, a commandment to become intoxicated completely. Why? Because Purim symbolizes the corrected vessels to the full extent where we can receive all the light of Chokhmah meaning if we have fully corrected vessels where we work completely for others, for the sake of others, then we can receive all the wine. We can uh, symbolically become intoxicated and the results will be good. And if I'm incorrected, meaning that I'm not working for the sake of others, then the wine, so to speak, can do bad to me and to my relations with others. This is the symbol of wine in this world. And in the spiritual world, and there are many things about it in Talmud Sefirot, the yeast of the wine, how do we produce yine, wine, meaning how do we receive the light of Chokhmah, how do we fulfill the soul? What is the light of Chokhmah? Can you give it, can you explain it in, in a way that I'll understand? What is the light of Chokhmah? It's the fulfillment of your soul, meaning the appearance of the Creator in the creature, the sensation of the Creator in the creature, which is felt as sublime, eternal, whole pleasure because you're starting to feel one who is eternal and perfect. So that pleasure you feel is called light of Chokhmah. That pleasure can be received by a person to the extent that he is similar to that pleasure. That pleasure wants to give to you from love. If you develop the same relation, the same attitude of love f from your behalf, then you are rewarded feeling that love, the Creator. That relation on my behalf is called the light of Hasadim, which you mentioned before? Yes. Correct. So it turns out that when I have light of Hasadim, when I am willing to be in the quality of Chesed towards everyone, Chesed means mercy, then I am awarded with the revelation of the Creator within me. So that is why love thy friend as thyself is the springboard to love the Creator. Can you explain in a simple way what uh, the verse wine enters, the secret comes out means? When the wine enters, the secret comes out means that what was a secret before now came out. It's not a secret anymore, so it's not for the worse. It's not like I become intoxicated and then I start telling secrets to other people. But I didn't understand before that, that, that this light of Chokhmah called wine entered and when it does, there are no more secrets. Everything opens up. This is why the wisdom of Kabbalah is the wisdom that reveals the whole of reality. And its light is also called the wine of the Torah. Okay, very well. Let's uh, go to something that is a bit... Uh, less pleasant. There are no things that are uh, that are not pleasant. If we will figure out, decipher everything correctly, we will see that everything is the, in the direction of happiness. 